stay tuned to see how I created this kids mask hanger. So I'm taking these cedar shim pieces and I'm going to hot glue them together. Because they start out thick on one end and become really thin on the other, I ended up gluing two sets of three together. Because once I get the two sets of three hot glued, I'm going to then hot glue both sets together. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. This will allow for the hanger to be even and the same thickness on both sides. I also added hot glue in the spaces that you see so that there's no gaps in between the pieces of wood. And then I just smoothed the hot glue so that it would be flat. So here are my two sets of the cedar shims. And now I'm going to simply hot glue both sets together. You can use a generous amount of hot glue because you do want this to be sturdy and you want them to stick together really, really well. Now, once I added the hot glue, I pressed them together and then I added these binder clips to different parts of the boards so that it would make sure that they adhered together. While the hot glue is drying, I am adding a piece of cardboard to the back of the new hanger. And this is just going to add a little bit more sturdiness. And I'm using my staple gun to staple the cardboard to the wood. Once everything is securely glued, go ahead and sand down the front of the board and this will give you a smoother surface for painting. Once you finish sanding the board, you want to make sure to wipe off any dust or debris. Now I'm going to use this Apple Barrel Camo Pink acrylic paint and paint over the front of the board. I'm using a generous amount I only had to do one coat, but you can do as many coats as you prefer. I bought these gold foil flakes off of Amazon and I am going to add them to the right side of the hanger while the paint is still wet and this will allow it to stick really well. You can add as much or as little of the foil flakes as you want. It's completely customizable up to you. This was my first time using foil flakes. I initially bought them because I'm gonna be doing some resin projects in the future, but I wanted to see how it looked on this project. Now I'm going to take these 3D butterflies and add them to our hanger using hot glue is really nothing extra about this process. You're just going to add a little hot glue to the body of the butterfly, making sure you've bent them so that they stick off of the hanger and then add them wherever you please and in whatever fashion you decide that you want to. Now I'm adding my hanger for the mask. The great thing about this project is that if you have more than one kid, you can add multiple hangers to one of the boards 
and then you can put their names above each hanger so they know which mask is theirs so I added a little too much hot glue and it seeped out around the sides and so I was trying to correct how this looked and I added this glitter glue that I got from Dollar Tree but then as I looked at it I did not like how it turned out so I decided to add some more of the gold flake to the glue and this just covered up that mistake this project came about because my niece is always losing her mask and I thought this would be a great solution I'm also adding a piece of this blackboard sticker I also got this from Shein.com and I am going to add it to the left side of the hanger it comes with these graphed out lines that allows you to measure out how much or how little as you need and I just cut out enough to cover the side of the board and to wrap around the back of the board I did not want to waste too much and I didn't want to have too little so once I wrapped it around the board I did cut it to fold in the sides and make them look neat and then I also stapled these pieces down as well and you know how I love adding a floral wire hanger so I added a few extra staples to the back of the mask hanger and then I just added the floral wire wrapping it around the staple and then once I got it through the staple I twisted it until the pointy ends were tucked in because I do not want this to cut or scratch my niece and then I also added a dab of hot glue just for safety and it completely holds the hanger in place at the last minute I realized that I did not have a chalk holder so I'm using this piece that I broke off of my DIY shelves that I did a few weeks ago and I simply painted it the same color camo pink and hot glued it to the front of the hanger and it works perfectly make sure that you make it flush with the bottom of the hanger and here is the finished DIY kids mask hanger I really love how this came out it's in my niece's favorite color which is pink she is a full girly girl and she really likes all things glittery and shiny and so these foil butterflies were a great find on Shein.com and then she also enjoys writing or coloring on anything and so adding this little piece of chalkboard to the hanger was a great authentic touch just for her plus she's always losing her mask and so I thought this would be a really great way for her to keep track of it and it's her own personalized hanger leave me a comment down below if your kids are always losing their mask and if this would work for them thanks for joining me for another video this week I know this pandemic is still raging and driving everybody crazy, especially the little ones. It can be hard to keep up with a mask and I wanted to create a solution for the kiddos so that this is one less thing that they have to worry about. This can also be customized to be an adult hanger as well for your mask that can be put right by the door so you can grab it and make sure you always stay covered while you're outside if you so choose to go outside make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel share this video with anybody who's ever lost a mask and turn on the bell for notifications wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're having a great day and always
keep creating. All right. I love you guys. Bye.